But tonight, the issue of growing Austin and not enough places for people to live reared up again at an information session on affordable housing. November 5th, a new $65 million bond, similar to the one that failed in the last election, goes up before voters. KXA's Angie Bevin shows us the city is trying to show the voters the need is there. Donna Tasby's lived in Austin her entire life. She's seen the changes. The house is really, really growing and building up new things here. For the past two years, she's lived in the M Station Apartments on East MLK, an affordable housing development. And I love it because it's not too far from everything, a bus route. There's a really great need, and the housing bonds are one part of, the, of a whole program of things that we can do to start immediately putting housing on the ground. Elliot McFadden is the campaign manager for the coalition Keep Austin Affordable. He says the housing bond is critical for nonprofits to keep up with the demand. So they take those funds and they're able to build uh, beautiful apartment complexes like this at, at rates that uh, working families and folks on fixed income can afford. Who is going to manage the development? At the meeting Wednesday in Northwest Austin, city staff answered questions. Bond money would help home ownership programs and develop rental housing and apartments. Though voters turned down a $78 million bond last November, Elliot is confident this time around. Last year, you know, with the bonds, it was a very crowded ballot, uh, very, we think, confusing ballot language. Uh, and the affordable housing community didn't do its job to really educate the public about the successes that have happened before. We don't know yet where the developments would be. Two more information meetings like tonight's are happening next week. You can find more information on that with this story at KXAN.com. Reporting live in the studio, Angie Bevan, KXAN News. Angie, thanks. Looking a little more at this bond, the $65 million debt would be repaid by property taxes at the current rate. The city says no increase in the property tax rate is anticipated. The last affordable housing bond in Austin was passed in 2006 at $55 million. The city estimates there are 38,000 low-income families that need affordable housing. AISD reports there are over 2,000 homeless children in their system.